in this video we're going to uh, go back to the extract example um, if you haven't seen that video already I recommend that you do it talks about our extract flow which is a schematic driven EM capability that really automates the way that you can do layout by uh, taking from the schematic the elements which should be included in a multi-port EM analysis and automatically creating the EM document and simulation for you and then stitching it back into that schematic um, we're going to take that as the basis of this demonstration and um, go one step further if you will into modeling uh, what we're going to show here is the X models which are a unique set of models to the AWR design environment the X models are EM based models uh, we have a whole other set of models which have EM simulators built into them highly optimized EM simulators but what the X models do is they take um, an extensive run of EM analysis and then from that create a uh, a model which is parametrically driven. Now this is not an interpolation of S parameters. Um, you can think of it uh, on the order of something similar to the space mapping technique uh, developed by uh, John Bandler, um, but again it's it's somewhat different than that as, in point of fact. But the idea here is that you take um, some very accurate EM analysis and from that create a model which almost looks like an analytical closed form model in that it's parametrically driven and it's very fast um, without the uh, issue of interpolated S parameters. So we can use it for optimization and tuning um, and we can rely on it as to be a more accurate representation of our uh, of our elements than a closed form model without the uh, without being burdened by the time or the effort to set up an EM simulation. So in this example here, this is our standard extract example. Um, I have a circuit model using um, the MT dollar sign model. The dollar sign is a smart junction that helps us keep the layout synchronized with the widths of the attached uh, elements here. Um, we're using the MT model, which is based on the analytical curve fit solution that you can find in the literature, versus an extraction over here. And this, of course, is going to send this to EM site. And we can see that from 40 to 60 gigahertz, um, we get fairly good, but, but really not um, as accurate a, a solution as we would like. So one of the things that we can do is, in place of the MT, I've created a separate circuit schematic up here, um, which has the MTX dollar sign model again the the uh, the X is going to uh, give us the X model the dollar sign is going to give us the smart junction and that's attached to uh, an Emlyn on this side and two Emlyn's on the other side and that that dollar sign is going to make sure that the widths stay synchronized and we can look at how well that agrees with um, the extracted uh, S parameter results by bringing up a similar graph to the one over here and you can see that um, actually we do get quite a bit of extra accuracy just by swapping out that MT model for the um, for the X model so this again the X model is based on extensive EM analysis done off the critical path of your design and stored um, with the AWR install tree um, and it just pulls that up based on the dielectric thickness and the dielectric constant of your substrate and again this is using EM results but not uh, directly um, the S parameter analysis it's mapped through a model so we get speed and accuracy for uh, speed uh, for, for tuning and optimization and we can see how accurate this is um, another measure that we can use to look at this is the uh, S model measure if you're not familiar with S model it's a, a measurement that's in the AWR design environment that allows us to compare two similar um, S parameter files uh, in terms of number of ports and the number of frequencies and look at how uh, accurate one represents the other. Uh, here we can see that in the blue we have the uh, S model comparison for the extraction. So again this is EM site, highly accurate uh, closed boundary method of moment simulation being compared to the circuit level model using the MT analytical model and we can see that we have a fairly good accuracy but when we swap out the MT for the MTX model, you can see that we improve the accuracy by, uh, in some cases, uh, more than an order of magnitude here. This is quite a big boost for nothing more than using the X model. Um, X models, in general, uh, are, are available in the AWR design environment for popular substrate configurations like Illumina, FR4, gallium arsenide, and for most of the junctions and discontinuities that you would like to use, like uh, T's, crosses, uh, open end lines, uh, steps uh, and that sort of thing. Uh, if you'd like more information about X models, uh, go to our website. There's uh, some white papers. There's some uh, publications that customers have done 
uh, talking about the, the uh, benefits of the X model. Uh, if you'd like still more information uh, that you can't find on awrcorp.com, I recommend that you contact your AWR sales professional.